Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russian Gasman 606 back again. It's been a while, so uh, quite some time. Uh, got new masks coming in, of course, and uh, actually pretty soon. Haven't made a video for a long time, and I just feel like you guys think I'm a dead channel, but I'm not. So we're back again, and I thought I'd show you guys how to clean a gas mask. Very good. So now let's talk about, first off, talcum powder. Now, when you get your masks, and you get them, and they've got this like white substance on them, and it's rocky for them, it's called talcum powder. And talcum powder is just as dangerous as asbestos. It can cause lung damage, uh, probably lung cancer, I haven't researched on that part, but it does cause lung damage. It's pretty much baby powder, because uh, baby powder is... Uh, uh, baby, powder, baby powder is 70% uh, talcum powder, um, and that's why they say don't inhale baby powder. So um, let's clean it. So the outside, I mean, you can clean the outside if you want it to look very nice and very clean, uh, which I've done. You can wash your masks. Um, if talcum powder is really, uh, really hard not coming off, then there's another way to do that. And that is to use alcohol. Uh, this is 70% alcohol. And you're also going to need a rag. That's going to be the best way, also. So, sorry for the background noise. I've done this with my masks, with this mask. Um, haven't really cleaned the outside or done too much to the outside, but hold on. But when we do this, fold it inside out, and inside these. Now, uh, to get down inside of it, see how there's a little piece of it? Still need to get that. But to get in down inside these parts is to either wash it with this, uh, put it in the wash scrub it out with a uh, toothbrush or put the best way is to put alcohol with a toothbrush then dip it in the water and let it come out the exhale valve or the exhale valve or no 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 the inhale valve or tip it over and it start running out and then you'll have to use the cloth to get the rest that kind of came out and stuck on but we're not doing that today we're doing a better and pretty much simpler way so, of course, I have my favorite masks out and stuff. And so, set that right there. Okay, so first off, I've cleaned the outside of this thing. And I've also put it in the water and got some scrubs and stuff. But uh, I'm going to go over up here, up there, around the eyelets, and some parts on the facial feature. And it is also a very good way to get dirt and grime off from if you're outside uh, messing around with them and stuff like that so best way and it's safe so uh, here we have my rag so now I'll show you what talcum powder looks like if we can get a great view um, one sec, let me zoom in. Now if you see that kind of white substance right there, right where my finger is, just barely, right there, that is talcum. And that stuff is bad for your lungs. And as you can see right there, and all that stuff. So we're gonna, I'll show you how alcohol really gets the job done. Um, this is what the army uses. Um, for if you've seen Russian, uh, the Russian army and their P PMK twos, PMK threes, P uh, PMGs and PMGs two, uh, they've been in storage talcum up and for another issue, so they had to. Uh, they've used other things that is simply alcohol, and it's basically a proven fact that alcohol gets this stuff off really good. Now, basically, take your bottle, 
like that. And zoom out real quick. S focus it a bit. And you'll have your wet rag full of, al of, of alcohol. Now, sorry, I'm just going to have to do this a bit off screen. If I'm getting the right spot. Now, sometimes talcum is really. Oh, well. That's probably the reason why it wasn't coming off, because I was using the wrong end. No, now it is coming off really quick. If I look in there, there is absolutely no talcum powder on there anymore. Which is just awesome and amazing. Now, if you zoom in fully, Focus it a bit. As you can see, in the sun light, there is absolutely no talcum. Isn't that crazy and awesome? No talcum powder. And to get up inside these, which I'll show, it's just basically stick your finger up in there. Now I would do this with any mask, not just the Russian ones, any mask. Just because they've been in storage. Now I'm trying to find this wet part, so give me a second. Throw some more on this. Now, I wouldn't uh, use these for dishes again. I would use it just for gas masks and stuff. Just because it's going to have dirt, grime, and alcohol on it. And that stuff is not the best kind of rag to use on things because it's probably got talcum on it from when you rubbed it off your mask. So basically what you do is do that. See? And then we'll just I'll basically stick my finger in there and then kind of do that. And for scrubbing you just put alcohol on a toothbrush. Now another thing is what we're gonna do. Sorry, it's a bit crappy filming, and this rubber hasn't been used much, so we're just going to go around the outlets of the eyes and scrub off any talcum powder that's on there for safety precautions. And you also can get inside down and basically wipe the whole inside around. And basically get all this done. Now, this camera is probably off focus right now. Because I'm trying to scrub it. And sorry for the lighting. Now when we go inside. Ta-da! It's very clean. As you can see. Sorry, my camera's bit out of focus but it's very clean and that is basically how you clean off your masks and that is the best way that I've found to get talcum powder and dirt and grime and anything off so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video uh, um, and stuff and I hope you guys use it for your gas mask. Best way to get talcum off, for sure. And you can always wash it, but I would suggest definitely alcohol. I'm using 70%, probably the best. Um, I mean, you could try 100%, 99%, you just 80, 70, 50. You could do all you want. But I know if it's more alcohol, the more it's going to get that right off. And 70 seems to be the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I just want to show you guys one more thing of what I've been doing. And I got to tell you, I'm getting a uh, PMK2 uh, uh, USMP, USMCP2 and a, and a new PMG in black. And I'll do all those reviews and a PMG. So we got gas masks coming guys and more and definitely different country of gas masks. Right now I'm trying to get all the Russian ones just because I mean why not have a collection of Russian 
Um, I really want a USM40 and M50, but they're so expensive, sadly. <laughs> I just wish I could just literally just have the mask, not even bag or anything. But so, yeah, so I'll basically just show you guys what I've been doing. So, this is basically my room. This is not the filming area that we're going to be doing. I just have that awesome Bob Marley lantern. And I figured out how to focus my camera better so I don't have to stop recording. So basically this is my non-working masks or my crappy mask and stuff. So this is the hat that I usually wear. My mom got this from Russia when she uh, went over there for Worlds. She was a gymnast. Uh, I can't clean this hose out so I can't get the talcum out of it which kind of sucks. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing. So yeah. And then we have like all that stuff. And I kind of did the like Chernobyl way where you put the mask on like their dolls and stuffed animals, which is cool. Uh, Antifa stickers, American flag, uh, filter, box, that. And guess what I found, dudes? I've had this for a while and I've had it since I've like started collecting gas masks is this guy right here. So cool. He's wearing a gas mask. It's a USM-40 gas mask and it's so cool. And then the G Russian GP-7V. So I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it's very cool. Um, it comes with accessories. If you guys want me to do a video on him, I will. And show you the inside of the gas mask and stuff. Uh, just put that in the comments below. Just for shits and gigs and having fun. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything, the bags and stuff, it's right here. It's kind of just like a collector's aisle of things and hats and stuff. And then, sorry, camera stopped because it's Max video. I now go to military school and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends. So, till next time I get a gas mask, which will be probably November 3rd, it's in a, from Lith Lithuania, it's going to take a long, long time. So, till then, we'll get this gas mask stuff going again, and don't ever think that I'm a dead channel, because I always collect gas masks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day.